When we first looked in this area to buy a house, it was because I had a, uh, I had a yacht down in Cole Harbor, 40 foot yacht, and I wanted to bring it up to Kamloops, but we needed to find a place where there was deep water. We didn't want to live too far out of town. We needed something on the transit routes and the transit routes out in this area are fantastic. They're running all the time. So when I first got the call from Pete, he was telling me he was thinking of selling and that uh, he had a place that was down on the river, which right away I'm like, oh, right on, well, tell me a little bit more about it. So he says, I got a 4,000 square foot house. I said, that's excellent. We got a three car garage. One of them actually fits an RV. I'm like, okay, perfect. And I'm taking the notes down. And he goes, uh, we've got a, a lot that's almost two lots, that zone that we can actually put a carriage house. I'm like, okay, that's great. Um, and then he goes, and we have an 11 boat marina. And I said, excuse me? <laughs> you have what? The first thing I started to do was to work on putting the dock in. And um, we wanted to have multiple slips uh, so that it wouldn't just take the yacht, but a whole bunch of other boats. Uh, with the yacht, I needed full shore power. I needed full pressurized shore water so that we can not only wash the boats, but we could actually stock up the water systems and that type of thing. Before I realized it, and about three years later, we, uh, we had the whole dock in place and we'd spent well over $200,000 in putting it in with engineering, with riparian studies for vegetation and, and fish habitat, with the building of the dock itself, with the driving of the pilings and erecting uh, bubble curtains to protect the fish habitat, that type of thing while the pilings were being driven. We put in 21 steel pilings. They're gonna be here long after our grandkids. It's permanent and it's a, it's a very, very well-built, full marina system, not just a dock. There is a, a concrete pad for an RV parking or for parking big boats and that type of thing on trailers. And on that side of the house, as well as down at the dock, is full shore power and full RV power. Uh, there's also in the basement uh, a full indoor hot tub. My wife uh, has a completely finished off uh, room that she was using for crafting, but it's got a window in it so it could double as a fourth bedroom. And I finished off an office area down there for myself as well. Uh, which could double even potentially without windows as a fifth bedroom. A lot of the downstairs is finished off in beautiful cedar as it is up here. Uh, and a big purpose for that, uh, especially downstairs, is when you have an indoor hot tub, you want to keep the smell of the chlorine and that type of thing down. Cedar absorbs all of that moisture, all of those smells, and so you can't even tell really that there's a hot tub downstairs. We finished off a really nice area uh, to have a bit of a theater room. Uh, with projection theater, um, you know, amplified full surround sound and all of that. There's a full uh, pool table and billiards table down there, um, full slate table uh, that I had set up and installed, uh, which we would consider leaving. Um, it's a perfect fit for the room. Full heated pool. Uh, we changed the pool liner out and the stairs out and a bunch of stuff and, and you know, brought it up to snuff. Uh, a couple of years back, uh, there's a pool house you know, with the, where the pool filters and furnace and all of that are. The gardens uh, behind the pool house and to the side of the house are all raised gardens. So it extend, you know, it's an earlier plant for the year and it stays uh, longer before it's the end of the season, especially being down here in the valley. We, you know, we've got a much longer growing season than they might have, say, up in Sahali or Aberdeen. All of the grounds are completely sprinklered. Uh, there are four control systems for the sprinklers. It's all, all in-ground sprinklers on the front, on the sides, uh, through the cedars, and all through the backyard. My son and I like playing chess, and so we, we built a whole separate kind of patio area uh, with a life-size chess set. Um, and that obviously will stay with the property and that type of thing as well. Uh, the main floor, it's beautiful. We've got uh, uh, a beautiful dining room with French doors. The main entry room, it has vaulted ceilings, again, all finished in uh, beautiful cedar finishings. Um, the room that we're in right here is uh, the, just the general family room, which leads open uh, concept into the kitchen. The kitchen has all granite countertops in an island range and the hood or exhaust hood, instead of being above the range, automatically comes up from the island itself when you need it and ejects the air out 
uh, below the deck. When you, you can walk out from the kitchen as well as from the laundry room, mudroom area onto the deck. Uh, it's a very good sized deck that wraps around half the house, uh, goes across the entire back as well as uh, the west side of the property. There is currently a large propane barbecue kind of island kitchen system. The, the, the house has been plumbed for gas out there as well, so you could put a gas barbecue system in there. And also on the deck, there is a uh, automatic electric awning system with a remote. This house has lots of little places that you can just get away from everything. Everything that's been done on the house has been done with full permits. There's been no cutting corners before me uh, or since I've owned the house. You can walk out with your golf clubs and in five minutes you can be at the mouth of the lake and another seven minutes you're at Tobiano and they'll come down, meet you with the club cart, take you back up. So basically it gets, it's 12, 13 minutes to get from here out to Tobiano and be on the course playing golf. Otherwise, if you were driving, you're at 30, 30, 45 minutes to get out there and you gotta deal with traffic and everything else and you don't have the beautiful scenery on the way out.